Obrigada, uh, Javier. Obrigada, Roberto. Well, great. Uh, thank great you. Questions. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> It's a, it's a pleasure to uh, have this opportunity to uh, meet you and work with you and welcome the potential students. Uh, I was able to understand most of the presentation. I have seen the presentation before. I just wanted to mention uh, just a few things before we, we go into the specifics of the new programs. Uh, regarding, um, regarding the French language courses that uh, that we offer. <clears throat> I think that's a great opportunity for interested students to really take advantage of the free French language courses that we offer. First of all, the instructors are uh, French from France and are very experienced. That's the first thing. The second thing for students that are really serious and are interested in really getting an introduction and an improvement into the French language, they can take these French courses as many times as they want. As long as a student is interested and is attending, it is my pleasure, our pleasure to make sure that we extend these services to the students. Why is this important? This is important to Roberto because in Quebec, it's important for us to prepare the student to enter the marketplace, to enter industry, in order for them to work with industry to finish their last most important course, and that is the internship, where in every program almost, except, uh, except uh, audio video post-production, there is a mandatory internship where they need to work with employers, they need to work in the industry. So because we live in Quebec, yes, there are many companies in English, but the environment is also a French multilingual environment. And it will be great for the students to pick up the French language in order for them to, com to communicate and collaborate and learn a lot from French speaking counterparts. So I'm very happy about uh, offering the French language program. And it's something that we will continue to extend and expand going forward. All right, so I just wanted to mention that perhaps, you know, we, uh, if, if a student comes in from, uh, from Brazil only with English language, that's all right. They have their IELTS, they have their English language proficiency. No problem, that's a great start, but also we offer the opportunity for the French language program. Uh, I would like to continue uh, regarding, uh, regarding four programs. That, uh, that you mentioned, two programs we are already running with success. And uh, that is the e-commerce program. And the other one is the audiovisual post-production, which is about to be launched in two weeks. Now, after that, in the very near future, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, also make available something very exciting, something very new, and that is, uh, big data, the big data program, which I'd like to expand on in, in a bit, and also the network and cybersecurity programs. I will speak to you about that also in detail in a few moments. Now, the important factor regarding audiovisual post-production is that this particular program is unique from the other three that we're going to discuss uh, this evening. The audiovisual post-production is more artistic. It's more audiovisual. It's more hands-on. If the student is interested about, you know, becoming, becoming a post-production post technician, or is interested in becoming a video editor, or is interested in becoming a sound effects editor, basically, you'll be working in the television industry. You'll be working in film companies. You'll be working in creating multimedia content, video game production, recording studios. It's an exciting field that is different from the other three, which I will present. This particular program, the audiovisual post-production is also unique in a sense that it has extensive laboratory time, a lot of time inside the lab, audio, visual, film editing, there's a lot of work, and of course, that has to be done within the campus, 
right? So this is something that cannot be done only with remote connection, right? So you have to, you have to really understand that for audiovisual post-production, it's a great hands-on program, but you have to be in the campus to be able to fully take advantage of what we're offering. In fact, you have to be in the campus in order to do that. So you, uh, you will make your plans accordingly for the audiovisual post-production program. We're about to launch it and it's very, very exciting. Of course, we offer it in both English and French. And right now it is the English language program that will be starting uh, very, very soon. The other program that uh, we are making available and has already be been running very, very successfully, we have multiple groups, is the e-commerce program. So the e-commerce program is new in a sense that it is able to attack a growing market that no one can deny is pervasive and with us on almost a daily basis, of course, and that is how to market your company, how to market the products of your company, how to make sure that what your company offers, either goods or services, is out there in the marketplace. And this is very, very important. Now, <clears throat> this is a program that's 24 months. I'm talking about the traditional, I'm not talking about the fast track programs. In all of the conversation, I will be talking about the elongated 24 month program. Fast track program is something, uh, is something also that we do offer, but not available right now. Uh, the 24 month program allows, of course, the students, as, as you know, to have the ability to obtain and uh, work, within the, work within the Canadian uh, environment with, uh, with their uh, visa and work permits, right? So we need to offer the 24 month period for a program that is over a thousand hours in length. Now, this particular program and the other two that I will be mentioning, in the e-commerce program, it is a 1,110 hours, a program that we offer over 16 hours per week. Additionally, at the very end of the program, there is um, a very consolidated, very important section regarding internships. So this is where the student will go into the environment of industry. Directly, of course, the student is going to be assisted. We have a department within the campus or placement assistance department. We will help the student with their CV, with their help the student with their job skills, will help the student with their interviews. And of course, the student is up to the student to win the interview and get the internship. But of course, we have the full support of the campus behind, behind the student. And that is after the end of the courses, internship into the industry. And we have contacts in the industry that will allow the students to be as employees without pay, unfortunately, most of the time, but the student is able to fulfill the program requirement and at the same time gain direct industry experience. Now, of course, uh, Roberto, I'm sure, I'm sure you have uh, the breakdown of, uh, of the course content. Uh, if uh, if you you don't, I'm sure you have that correct. The uh, uh, the, uh, the IT programs classes that are offered. Yes, yes, I was I was showing the. Can you see my screen? Just yes, yes, I can sure. see your screen. Yeah. Okay. I, excellent. Yeah. So. Now, the other program that uh, is of particular interest is that of. Uh, um, analytics and metadata. Now the, the, title, the title is uh, very, very interesting. Analytics, metadata and business intelligence. I love this program. I love this program because it offers a lot from different competitive worlds. It, it offers a little bit of networking. It offers a little bit of programming. It offers a little bit of business decision. It offers a little bit of e-commerce. It offers a little bit of coding. 
and it, it offers a little bit of marketing. And that, I think, is also something that is very, very competitive in today's marketplace. Now, the students in this particular program will be challenged. This program is 1,600 hours, and it also offers the longest internship of over 300 hours as well. Now, the most important feature of this program is that the students, once completed and entering the workforce, will be able to support decision-making in the company. Decision-making in the company makes, makes the employee very valuable because companies have a lot of information and the information has to become data and the data has to be asked in certain way in order for decisions to be taken. And this is where this particular program really is very strong. Now, imagine that you have several different databases in a very large company and you have the different parts of your company working almost independently from each other. Well, data amalgamation, working with the, working with the databases together and creating a homogeneous environment and able to ask your data banks for the right information to come, but you have to pose the right questions, right? And this is what you will be able to do. Now, this is cutting edge because the information overflow that we have in our daily lives now will actually become information for decision makers and you will be able to support the decision making process. This is a challenging course uh, program. It's a challenging program because it offers a variety of different courses that um, deals with software, hardware, um, programming, problem solving, uh, it, it offers a lot as far as a variety of challenges is concerned. But the result, of course, is a very good one. And of course, the last one, I kept the last one uh, because it's my personal favorite, because I used to teach uh, networking for, for many years. I have uh, several certifications in networking, and I thought that I did a pretty good job in inspiring students to get into the marketplace and be successful in their marketing career, in their networking careers. And um, I'm very proud of that. So let's begin with uh, the last particular uh, grouping of courses. Our program is Computer Security Analyst. So with the Computer Security Analyst, this program again is offered traditionally on a 24 month deployment. It's 1,320 hours offered in both English and French. And of course, it has a very comprehensive um, 210 hour internship, which the student will need to gain successfully, complete in order for the student to complete their program. Now, the, the beauty about, uh, about this particular program is it's brand new, meaning all new technologies have been incorporated. And the most important aspect that I can tell you from my experience is that it doesn't only cover networking, it also covers coding, which is a great support tool in today's networking platforms. This way, the student will learn some rudimentary programming, but at the same time, will be versed in a coding environment because now you are able to communicate with your virtual machines in a different way where you're able to create programs and code in a different fashion. So this is, uh, this is uh, a new way of approaching networking and cybersecurity because it also has a programming parameter. So finally, uh, I'm very happy and I'm very proud to mention that Trebas with the new program development team, we have put all that together. So Roberto, uh, Haniel, uh, this is it for my presentation. Uh, if I can answer any questions, I'll be happy to do so. All right, so let's check the, the box. Thank you very much, Jim. Great to, to hear you. Actually, you know, IT for me is like Greek. <laughs> I don't understand anything <laughs> about it. So it's great to hear from you uh, how 
is uh, how these problems are. And, and I have a question for you. How is, the, uh, I know we, everyone knows that the, the IT area is like uh, very good for everyone. You know, everyone is looking for IT professional. How is in Montreal? How is the market in Montreal? For, the market, the market in Montreal, the market in Montreal is a competitive market. Um, in order to, in order to uh, create a, a solid foundation, as far as IT, um, IT work is concerned, you're not going to start by being a manager of IT. That's not that's not your first step as a as a graduating student, right? So you have to go through through preparations, and one of the preparations is working and supporting um, Q&A, for example, or, or going through um, and dealing with online technical support or providing technical support for the company directly or indirectly. This is uh, a foundational piece that I think everyone has to go through because people need to know how to answer problems before they get a bigger scope of, uh, of the company at large. Then after that, you become a junior IT where you're assisting the IT manager or you are being accepted into an IT team for an intermediate or larger company in order for you to understand. Every company has their own, has their own tricks, right? If you take me in a, different, in a different company, I would be lost until I know exactly what, uh, how, how things work there, right? But the fundamentals that every student will have are going to be there. There are multiple servers, there are multiple platforms, there are multiple workstations, there are different programs, there are different operating systems, there are different protocols, there are different standards, there are different security platforms, and we make all that work together, right? So this is, uh, this is what uh, the student will learn through the experience of the internship, but then the progress will be uh, incremental, starting in a moderate fashion and then working with experience from different companies to become uh, to become a full-fledged IT security specialist. It will take it will take I'm saying 18 months, 24 months after graduation to be completely immersed and to be able to choose to choose uh, which company you want to work with. But it is competitive. <clears throat> there are graduates out there. The better ones have a quicker track. People who are trying still have the ability to enter the marketplace, but I like to I like to give you realistic, um, realistic uh, and experienced overview of the of the workplace. It's in fact very competitive, but challenging and rewarding at the same time. Awesome, Hanio. Uh, can you help me with the questions? Let's see here. You know, I think Daniel was checking out the questions, so let's Yeah, see yeah, I'm, I'm answering the questions here, so I think it's it's going good. I, I see one, uh, Jim, that uh, that's a good question, actually, that, I, that I've never thought about it. It's about like, a, a, I'm not an IT guy too, so uh, if, I don't know if you will, will be able to answer too. They say about the language that is taught in the data analytics program. Uh, there is a Python language. I believe there is another one that if I, if I don't, if I, if I record uh, instead of Python, there is other, other language that they use in, in, in IT programs. So what kind of language are we going to use? To, to, are you familiar with this? If you're talking about programming, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the person to answer that question. Uh, so. Uh, I, I'm not going to speculate on, on the programming languages that will be taught. Um, I, I can give you an answer though. I can give you a specific, specific answers. I prefer being very, very direct and to the point. So I'll get back to you on that. I, I'm, I can amazing, it's, amazing. It's, that's good. That's it's, good. More, no. it's, more, it's more than one though. I can tell you that much. That's, that's good. So like uh, uh, it's anonymous here, the question too. Like, uh, please just uh, that message us email us and we're gonna get this back to you soon Absolutely. like uh, but I, I i was thinking the same thing jim probably we have many teachers so for sure they will be uh, teaching in a different way that's for sure 
another question here too, like, could you explain more about the internship by the end of the computer security analyst program? Uh, like uh, how it would work for the student in the best way? What do you, what do you tell us? Yes, absolutely. Now, after, after the uh, successful completion of, uh, of all the program requirements, each and every course, what we do, and I'm going to give you some background so the student can really understand how, how we prepare the student. So three months before the end of the program, right? The student is almost completed. The student is in their almost the final phases. Well, here, we take some time from their, uh, from their courses, we pause the courses and we start the preparation. Here we offer around three months before the end of the program. We make available the French program again, the French language program. We also make available the placement services team to help the students with their CVs, to help the students with their job search skills and to help the student with the interview skills. And then we make first contact with the internship, that is the bank of um, industry and companies that we have and we have leveraged with and we have cooperated with in order for the, um, the students to be allowed to work, we call it work really, with, uh, with those companies. And of course we send, we send the, the student to the internship uh, company that will be accepting that person for the 210 hours over several days, over several weeks. We have a certain procedure. Uh, the student checks in with us at the campus to make sure that the student is always supported and to make sure that the student is in a good environment. We have an internship, uh, an internship um, uh, calculator, which allows us to communicate with the administrator of the internship to make sure that the student is evolving, the making sure that the student is able to follow and is able to excel in that work environment. We just don't send the student into a company. Hello, um, I am I am so and so, and I'm here to start. Well, we we make sure that we make that connection for the student to start the internship properly. Now, after the end of all the courses. And again, like I mentioned, three months before the end of the courses, we go through this process where the student is prepared to enter internship, where the student is assisted to find the right company to work for. Now, again, I say work for, it's very important that you understand it is an unpaid internship. So Roberto, if you tell me, Jim, you told me the students are going to get paid in the internship, I'm going to tell you, Roberto, no, I did not tell you the students are going to get paid in the internship, but the most important thing, and, and you're smiling, I'm happy because we, we've had this question before. Sometimes it does happen, but it's very rare, right? It's very rare that the student is paid during their internship. And uh, you know, with, with uh, students from abroad, it's very, very unlikely. But we want to place the students in the right environment with the right employer, and the right stage administrator, a person that will able to evaluate, assist, and make sure that the student is uh, gaining as much experience as possible. So it's a long answer, but it's an important answer because it's going to be studies outside the campus, right? And this is where the student is able to interact with other professionals, is able to see how different companies function, and is able to really prepare for the workplace. Now, sometimes, um, sometimes it's, it's going to be six hours, six hours a day. Sometimes it's going to be eight hours a day. It depends on the company. This is something that we collaborate with, with the employer. If the employer says, well, you know, I need the student to be with me four hours a day or five hours a day, we will make that happen uh, in order to make sure that the student is in the right environment and gaining the right experience. Now, at the end of the internship, the student will be evaluated. The student has to prepare a project. The student has to answer questions. The student has to be there each and every day as if the student is working, right? So uh, if a student is properly motivated and understands that, hey, this is an opportunity for me, 
then it is an excellent way of gaining experience and completing their program with success. Roberto. That's, that's, that's a great, a great tip here that you give it to everybody, Gene. I, I really like it, the way you answered. Like, uh, I hope everybody got the grip of this. And we also, uh, we are recording it. So it's uh, when we, when Roberto posts in, in his YouTube, he probably will like add it to, to have this. Answer. I'm very upset that the camera is not <laughs> working. I'm very upset. But you know, uh, Mohammed, Mohammed Slimani is with us. You see his picture. He's, uh, he's the VP of operations. <laughs> and he also joined us to make sure that, uh, that uh, he can provide some feedback. Oh, yeah. Mo, you're, you're, are you here with us? I just yeah, saw, I I just, I just I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to eat this, guys. Just, I'm just back to, uh, yeah, I finished the work. Yeah, I'm happy. And uh, by the way, I just uh, heard the answer of, of Jim. That uh, That's good. a good point to explain that, Jim, for donorship. I think that's in Quebec, specifically. It's it's mandatory donorship. That's like uh, part of the program. And also, uh, some what, what explained Jim, some of the company, yes, we, we can pay the, the, the student, but some of them know. But just to, uh, to answer in this is, is not compliant by the Ministry of Education to ask the company to pay the student. You know, that's that's why, because the internship is part of the program. It's, it's part like the number of the credit of the program, like uh, like uh, like you take like the course, like theoretical, theoretical course on analytics. That's why it's very important to uh, to have like to, 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 uh, to meet with the placement department to help you to, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, arrange and, and uh, uh, to schedule the interview and everything because that's the opportunity for the student to start the new life, you know, and, and starting working and, uh, you know, the, the new challenge and, and get back or other, other, uh, other, other problems that, yeah, that gem long answer, but I think it's very important to, uh, to understand because sometimes it's not, uh, the, there's the process for internship is, is not the same for the different problems in Quebec. Is different example on Ontario. Okay, that's that's all all other programs like BC. Or, okay, that's uh, that's why I think it's very important uh, for all uh, of the students to understand uh, what's happened with this uh, with this internship. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. That's great. So I, it's good that I have both of you here. There is a there is one question, <laughs> right? Like uh, it's good, it's good, uh, guys. You guys are in, in a privilege here to have uh, those two two guys with us with today. Uh, yeah, like I'm really happy to, to see you guys here. Uh, so I, 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 like for us to finish, I'm not gonna grab everybody for uh, more hours, guys. We're gonna we're gonna be able to answer the other questions uh, in a chat and in an email later on. But the, the last question here that Mo, he, Mo is here with us, Jean is also here with us. Uh, guys, a quick question that they, they are asking here for me. Uh, Daniel, what's the what's the new courses? What are you guys thinking about like uh, schedules for the new courses? It's gonna be like our e-commerce two to three days a week. Uh, what is what is what you guys thinking? Because it's a new program. The first the first intake is in January. So yeah, even yeah. me and Robert, we don't know as much about the schedules yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I let I let I will just starting and after that I let Jim Jim he's working on it. You know, what, guys, I will give you just um, my, uh, my my expertise on it because I'm I'm you know I'm I'm I'm, at the, I'm in the same industry <laughs> like 26 years and uh, working with international student domestic a long long time. You know, that is very important. I think it's very important to have uh, to create uh, like uh, the schedule to help. Uh, the student when we are in Canada here on Quebec to plan your life because that's sure the student we come here yeah we need to take the course and we study and everything but also to give him the time for working for taking another I don't know take another that's why it's very important now we are working with Jim and that's Jim we do it everything we have the schedule like starting the first day until end before internship that's sure because we need just to, uh, uh, you know, to have to, to follow up the, the, the industry or, or the company. But example, if you have like 16 hours, like Monday, I, I don't know, six hour Monday, and uh, example, six hour Wednesday and Tuesday, we follow up the same schedule and to give you the opportunity to manage this around this schedule. Because that is very important for the student to manage, uh, uh, you know, life for 24 months. 
and also to give the opportunity for everyone if you like to find a job or to uh, work like 20 hours a week or like that and you have the same schedule for the and and and, and the college and and and, and with, with us and also we can manage this around the schedule and and also i let jim maybe to uh, to explain more of 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 the schedule uh, because I think that is very important. Also, need to have to have like uh, uh, you know to help the student on this uh, on this topic, Jim. Yes, Mohammed, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we have we have stru structured the new schedules in order to do exactly what Mohammed suggested, and that is to support to support the students. Right. What we wanted to avoid is the situation where we had one two hours on Monday, three hours on Wednesday, two hours on Thursday, uh, class in the afternoon, a class in the morning, uh, some uh, hours on Friday. Uh, so what we did is we consolidated 16 hours or 20 hours, depending on the program. And we said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to we're going to have class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or we're going to have class Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or we're going to have class in the afternoon, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You see, Roberto, it's beautiful. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, AM, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, PM. Awesome, awesome. Right? It's fantastic. You know exactly what you're doing. So, amazing, amazing. That's, that's yeah. I think, what everybody wanted to hear, right? Like, that's the, they have more time, that, uh, that uh, they will be able to, like, plan their time. So I think, uh, Jim, that's that's the way. That's the best way. Mom, thank you so much. We start with this. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. we are going the, the right track. Uh, so guys, I, I like it's been an hour. So I know like everybody's in Brazil is eight thirty. Here it's seven thirty. Uh, so guys, I know there is more questions. I'm happy to to support you guys and Roberto too. Without the answers, please text us, emails us. Uh, we're gonna also be recorded more one more time. I'm so happy to have you here with us. Like uh, it's with a my pleasure. pleasure. I, I want, yeah, I want just I want just uh -huh. one thing. One thing is very important, guys. Go 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 ahead. <laughs> I, I want just to tell you one thing is very important. You know, we have two new programs. That's I want just to share with you. Uh, one thing is very important, and and Jim, that's also the, the right person because we we work with Jim a long long time. The two new program. That's amazing program. And also we have many opportunity to work in specifically in Quebec. I'm talking for Montreal, the big Montreal. Guys, this program, that's a very competitive program, specifically for uh, cybersecurity or IT security and also the big data. We have two program. If one we decide for in the futures is working like and the security IT networking and, 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 and like, like that, we have the program and this. If someone will have the expertise and also in Brazil, we have like experience or the studio like a database or a programming, we can take another program because the big data, that's also we have the different model inside and we have also like the database, we have the programming, we have like uh, uh, also the, uh, the, the sharing data and everything. That's the two new program. And by the way, for the big data, I, if I'm if I'm not wrong, like we have offering for only two school and and Montreal, I, 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 uh, cybersecurity that's offering for I think three or four four school and, and Montreal, but big data for only two school. That's guy I want just to share with you this the new program. That's true, and more, that's, that's more. We, we need to be honest here too. Our scholarship in Latin America and Brazil yeah. are the best. That is yeah. no, that is no match of the price too. Exactly. And I, and I think this is one thing that brings up uh, the course itself, of course, in, in Quebec, and of course the scholarship that we are giving to the students. Exactly, okay. and 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 also just to share and finish, you guys, you know, I don't talk too much, but um, <laughs> that's. My experience, I want just to share with you one thing. So now we are working on the futures soon, okay? We create the legal department of Trebas. What's the legal department? The legal department is to help the student, when active student, guys, huh? is not when you start with us and you have someone like department, like legal department law to help you. And you said, if you have, if you have like to renew your CAP for your 
student permit or you're asking for uh, uh, for the work permit, we have someone to to help you and to support you to fill the form and send in everything. That is free. We don't have this department created yet. Now we have we we try to hire some uh, some 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 new employee working on it. But this also it's very important for the student when is coming in Quebec and sometimes this job or this task if you need to change your CAQ or student or student permit because we need to renew it or work permit we need to maybe to do it by ourselves or we need to uh, go to see the lower or the agent and you pay for this okay like 1500 uh, you know it's dependent okay but uh, I'm working me and Jim and the team of Trebas to create this department to support our students. That's also another, it's not in place, guys. I will share with you like uh, uh, the news and place. Maybe, maybe Roberto will know that, but it's not on more the detail. But guys, it's coming soon. This also. Great no, news. that that's amazing. <laughs> it means a lot, I think, for students also that are going to be able to finish the courses, change for exactly. the PGWP. Exactly. So it's, exactly. A, exactly. it's an extra cost that they will not have it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Uh, exactly. So sorry for my kid that's crying in the back. No, that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, okay. guys, Mo, once more, thank you again. Jean, appreciate so much that you guys are here with us. Uh, I will go. I have to go. And uh, Beto, just uh, leave the last uh, minutes there, like uh, the, the, the last goodbyes. One more time, One more time, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, Haniel. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Haniel. Thank, thank you, Jim. Thank you, oh, everybody. Merci Ciao, beaucoup. bye bye. Ciao, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Gemma. See you in you Montreal, to... guys. See you in Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <That's right. laughs> Ciao, guys. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.